Match reserve time. time. ...does exist, and it's a lot of physical team fight as well with the Death Ward coming out. Look at all this aggression. Five men coming in, Trance coming through. Matt's gonna walk right in, they're gonna find Hodgkin. LSA's first gonna go, the cast passing was Hodgkin is gonna feed away first blood. Stormhammer mad, in trouble. It was on the three, Aaron's gonna back away. Look at the arc lightning box going through. Pycat gonna win run away, it is one to one. And he can't build to the jungle because Chen's in the jungle. And that'll just give Arrow total free farm. He pretty much just has to sit down here and soak. So offline is going poorly coming out for a line but they're going to CP mid, they're going to get the sprout up, Shackle shot will latch, power shot lip, one more right click, they get the kill, they're looking for some body blocks, LSA on the Bulldog, he'll go down, so he TPs it, gets an assist, then dies, Dragon Slave almost kills Pycat, last right click, gets the kill, no high ground miss, Hodgkin gets the double coming out. Walk around the summons, he's like, okay, I guess I'm dead. Like 30 yeah. different creeps. Ask is gonna go into Akin, they're gonna use the Dragon Slave, but now there's gonna be Setsar Conqueror Soft, there's gonna be a Dark Soul Summon and Snare. Look at the Arc Lightning's coming out though. Bulldog TP's in, Sprouts on the one, Seal Kid now, he's blocked as well. So many creeps. Oskin trying to TP away, he's not gonna make it out. And IP, despite losing Era, trying to smoke to the enemy jungle. Ake has great positioning, walks away, and then the creeps go to work. And, and now it's the lines is Rose. So huge. Quite initiation. They've been so spread out, and every time they have gotten pushed in, they just they can't they can't seem to find a way to initiate. They'll find Yotas here. They're gonna even shackle shot a pot skip. He's dead with focus fire. He just goes down so quickly. Zoo Salt comes out. The right click. You can see Yotas is gonna get silenced up the right click. The board on a seal kit. Death Ward goes for half a second. Yotas sides to an earn charge. Yeah, they just, they're, they're just walking high ground. They don't even have an Aegis. They just there's just nothing that they can do on the side. Dire of structures are fortified. They do so much Dyer's damage to the tower, tower is under the attack. They're getting it more simple already. Dyer's top to tower has fallen. That Rax is now exposed. Melee Rax City destroyed. And in daytime, they'll jump back in with Aero. Stormhammer is going to go on to two, but uh, there's no real follow up. Mad and the Centaur The Centaur Conquerors are just zoning Dyer's out for everybody. Like, Aero got four Centaur Conquerors stunned. Maybe they back wait for the next night time or wait for Darkness. Oh, th this, yep. this is their window. They're going to they're gonna go for it. Big time. And it's night again. Time. I think this could be a disaster. They're gonna go in. Air Blade Stormhammer is gonna go. No, not yet. Silence is up. He already has the God Strength getting low. We're gonna play. Matt will get called, but they've already lost Terra. He's got five back. He's not gonna use it. Yoda's is dead getting low, but the Death Ward takes down Admiral Bulldog. Still kid doing work, but not nearly enough. And I think that's a level one Death Ward that does absolutely nothing. And they just call GG with three dead. They just they go all in. And Alliance with beautiful synergy, great team play, and massive Alliance. damage. What a minute victory. They, they tried for it. They, they saw like an eight second window where it was day, and they're like, okay, this is the only point where we can get a good initiation on them. This is like our last Hail Mary. And they did it, and unfortunately, it just it turned night, and they had just complete, complete dominance of the vision. Crystal Maiden. So like hit you between between cast animations. Well, I mean, you want to have to be careful. Oh, still kid. All right. Well, they just gonna give it to him. Lord was running nearby to help make sure Matt was gonna yeah. stay alive. Matt stays up, no problem there. Oh, Pycat, Hastrun, Fisher, jump in. There's gonna be the Shadow Strike, and Pycat might be able to turn this, but no. First Blood's gonna go, they'll send Limp back. Turn back into a match. This would have been huge, but they can't find it. So that's TP Bottom as they're wrapping in. They're looking for an Echo, they're looking for any chance. Oh, Pycat's gonna get Glimpse back. Matt is in trouble, falls to the Echo Slam. They've lost two Fisher, Loda now Glimpse up as well, rather kinetic field, and here comes Hera as well. Loda, got a cool spread, Hand of God's gonna go. Loda's gonna try Dyer's to juke in the trees. They get the tower in the meantime. Fallen. Cool spray's not there to get Yotas. Yotas backs away. Loda is in the tree line. They can't kill him. Flare's gonna fly through. Arrow getting low. Dyer's middle tower. Arrow's gonna be have to be careful here. I'm a Grapple. little oh, confused. Boy. You know Okay, there he Eric gets the kill, but I think he's still gonna die to my cat. Yeah, there it is. The assassinate comes through. Meanwhile, Glimpse back on the Bulldog. Kinetic field. Uh oh. And Sear coming out from the Dark Troll Summoner. And they get that kill, too. Hanskin's gonna walk in. Matt's gonna find him. Magic is gonna go. Fisher getting canceled. Wave of Terror. Crystal Nova. He's gonna buckle her up. He's gonna try to maybe get a Dark Troll to help him out with it. It's there here. He's gonna find it. There it is. Yonis is gonna walk in and chant him in the back bed. Look at that damage. Echo Slam. But Pycat comes and gets the kill. On to Hanskin. What the hell's happening right now? This is so strange. Oh, he did. He did. Oh, man. He actually got Fisher blocked. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's yeah. He's blocked. He is 100% blocked. And Aki's probably dead here. What a Fisher. My god. No vision, too. 
Which is uh, just a short range. Wind. Static wave, static storm, Bulldog's here, but look at the damage, they'll take down the Cypher. Lotus static storm, he's gonna heal up with a stick charge. He's gotta get some more close range off a bottle up, six gone. They're so low, but they can't finish him off. And Lep gets the triple kill. Pycat does get the kill on Jonas. Seal Kid glooms back out, kinetic field, and now Pycat may be in trouble. Test of faith, he's gotta turn on this. Shrapnel's gonna go, and here comes Aaron, doppelganger up. He's low, he's not dead yet, but the Queen of, screen, scream of pain from the Queen of Pain comes in. It's a mouthful, Akka's gonna fall in, he's the devil. Kill. Matt's gonna back up. He's Radiant's probably in trouble too, yeah. Matt's attack. missile will go, but I, I don't see him living through this. And now Alliance are trying to do whatever they can. Hook shot in, he'll find Limp. Limp in trouble. Blinks out though. Deep from Era. Battery Soul's not there. It does finally come, and Era gets killed. Turns into a three for three, actually. Most underrated things I think about uh, getting like a full Mjolnir against the L is that if he, if he goes on someone and then you. You put the Mjolnir on the person, the shield, it just it just rips all the illusions apart because it rocks so much. Oh my god, Era, Era, Era died to a neutral creep from Assassinate. Oh my god. They know uh, that an Era is going to be top and maybe Alliance walk through the jungle. Mad's going to walk up the jungle and they'll die. I think it's like they were right. Not a way oh, to on it. Loader's probably dead now. Double Sensor Conqueror's top. Ake actually has to get out. Now they're good looking. Sonic Wave is already used. The cog pushed back out. Yotus is gonna get sent home, but here comes Era. Shrapnel coming in hot. Get a seal kit. Both low. Seal kit about to fall. They'll take two. Alliance turning this fight around. Era's gonna get pinged. Lump's gonna try to fight this. Lump's gonna go in. Looks for Pike out of the back line. It's not gonna happen. Now you have to back away. Bulldog's gonna die to the illusions. And they can't really chase any further. Pycat has to back up, doesn't want to take any more defusal damage. The assassinate almost brings Era down. Era survives, get the kill on, gets the kill on Bulldog. And now Pycat will try to CP. Echo goes, Pycat's gonna fall with the four step. They get Ake as well. Yonis is back into the fight, beautifully done, and Lamp gets another kill. Yeah. Just the Chen creeps in one lane, Lincoln in either an Era in the third lane. Okay, well, force out, Bulldog, there's gonna be the hand of God, they're gonna try to fight the Seal Kid and Limp, Limp in trouble, Limp's gonna fall, he's gonna have to buy out immediately, they're gonna try to fight this. Now the hook in, they'll find Hotskin, Lona going to work, his age is, mind you, on the back side, you see Era is alone, that's Missile Pike is staying back, Hotskin getting low, he's gonna fall, Seal Kid in trouble, Seal Kid will put the hoops back on Lona, Sonic Wind going, Yoda's man, he'll drop up the Fisher, Lona, that's the ages, they did get Pycat, Era on the back side, going to work, Era is still alive, Sonic Wave again with the refresher, Lona back up, Mad trying to do whatever he can up to Era. Loda chasing him down, but there's the Shadow Dyer's Strike. They can't find Era. Era has bots. The fish is gonna come through. Era will survive, and not only that, he's gonna head to the middle racks currently, and he wants this. Lip will blink away. Dyer's now there's no buyback on anybody from the lines that's dead Dyer's currently. Mid racks is gone. Been. It's gonna be melee, Mega Creeps here in just a moment. Dyer's they can't get back to the base. There's gonna be the glyph. Dyer's that comes in from Jonas. Loda TP's in. Viscus is a goo. He's gonna doppelganger. He doesn't get to the low ground, though. Shiva's guard. Lip jumping back in. Jonas wants this. Hex up onto Mad. Mad's gonna fall. And it's only Loda right now, but now Mad does buy back. Loda's alone. Era is so low. He wants this kill desperately. Sonic Wave jumps in. Enchant Tone, he won't find it. Era almost dies to a creep of the Santa Tormentor, but he backs up. And it's Vegas. not enough for Alliance right now, and this is gonna be one last gasp here, I think, with Bulldog dead for 26. Yeah, there's no Chen, but he can still micro his creeps. Swap out onto Jonas. This is gonna go DKB. Pycat is dead. They blew him up with Limp. Matt's gonna be next. And that's, that's just it, I think. That is GG. And we will be moving on to game three after 65 minutes. What a game, man. Radiant victory. That's, once again, that's just like excellent execution of chance strategy by, by NIP. Like these chance strats, these, these like European teams really know how to use it. And uh, honestly, it might even be worth a ban in like these next games because both teams just seem to like crumble to it. That was absurd, but you're right, that Chen. The Undying Wakes. Dyer's bottom tower is under oh, attack. He also has a regen, too. Grip coming out. Raze, Seal Kid needs to just not do this. The next gonna go, gonna keep Matt alive. Overgrowth's gonna fly through. Air was able to blade Fury out of it. Matt's probably dead. He's under the sentry. Oh, they can't fight him! Oh, but they do get the kill coming out. Now the Yami Slash stopping Pycat as he pops the BKB. Turns into a two for two that is much better for NIP. Oh, they don't go for it. Because Loda didn't have Blink, and if he stampeded, maybe he catches him, but Mask Matt is too good. Too strong. Yeah.
Oh, Limp is so close to them, but they have a sentry just right here on the edge. And he doesn't get spotted out. He has the Shadow Blade now. Oh, God. LSA Pot get in trouble. Laguna's gonna go. Blink stop. He might live. Living Armor's gonna go. Air is gonna fall. Oh, but Pot can't get blown up as well. Seal Kid going down to the Requiem, the secondary one. Two stones up. Bulldog is here, but now he's gonna run. You can see Loda in trouble. LSA gonna go through. Yonis does have his ultimate. They're gonna have to back away. Alliance in trouble. Era fought back. Bulldog, Nature's guys. Mad in trouble. LSA going through. Free day coming up from the side of Alliance. The bear is well getting chased down. He's got the relic, but he might just fall here in a moment. It looks Dyer's like he will go down. He's going to try to juke his dive. LSA misses. Dragon Slave's going to go. They're going to keep it so that he can't return, but he might get out. He will. I'm going to use that. Playing it very, very defensively. Just they still have Flesh Golem, too. Get the rocks. Yeah, they do. So any fight that breaks out, as long as Tom's going to survive. Tom's going to go. Will they use any of their abilities? They threw up the Tombstone. BKB from Loda. They're gonna back up. Nice agency on Seal Kid. They actually pick up Limp, but he's gonna use out, of course, with that overgrowth. There, he's gonna walk right back in. Has Zombie Slash ready to go. Sentry on the deck. I have never seen two teams so close not to jump on each other at all. Right click. Now they're gonna give low to the good old people. There's the damage amplification coming out from the flesh goal. And Era is gonna be piped off. He's got Omni Slash. He's still the age. So hard for them to bring him down. Loda now in trouble. Laguna Blade. They take him out. No buyback for the Rex. The triple made the Rex about to go down. Requiem damage amplification. Damage amplification, damage reduction everywhere. It's ridiculous. Stampede's gonna go. They're chasing. Era wants to be, of course, getting out of here, but they're looking for him as the target for Alliance. If they kill the Barrett, it's Barrett's in trouble. Jump and stop on it too. Beautiful BKB from Lift. Omni Slash going in. Barrett's low. 163 HP. Matt is gonna fall. Loda is actually left out as well. He's walking all the way back around. He was up now in his shadow feed. LSA is going to go in a second. They'll catch him. A toast up on the AK. Piecat, get him right quick. Piecat, going to fall. No. Stays alive. Requiem goes to secondary. Loda with a huge jump, but there's no follow up damage. Loda's about to go down. NIP taking it to Alliance. NIP getting lower and lower. They get the bear up. Bear is low. Bear was in Halberdin, but now he's dead. Another recreation. Bulldog going to get Agatha. There's the Laguna Blade. They mech him up. He's still alive. But look at Lip go to work. And Era has yet to die. The Aegis actually is gone. She's not there either. Overgrowth comes in. Era getting low. They might take this fight. Alliance looking to turn this around. Pycat getting stunned up. Era can't quite get the range back. But Lip will finish it off. Lip uses up as well. They can't chase any further. Mads just did look great. Pycat really crushed them. But now Limp's gonna walk in. He's looking for Bulldog. This could be huge. LSA, BKB's gonna go. Bulldog's gonna get Laguna. Stampede to keep him alive. The Hex is up, but it's too late. And Loda will give himself up, it looks like. He pops the BKB, but uh, Stomp's gonna go on to Era. Loda's gonna get Fiend's Gripped, and Loda should die here. In fact, Aki might go down too. Loda with no buyback, and that might be what they were looking for to get into base. Bottom tier two not available. They can head to bot racks now without any issues. The top tier two is still alive, but. Is this it, man? This could be it. Without Loda, how do you fight? It's really hard. That's, that's pretty much all their control. Um, they're gonna get on. This is where they can deal with the rather than the tank coming out. Now they're gonna jump on Ake. Omni Slash goes. Net stop for Pycat, but they're getting just corralled into the base. Arrow looking for the bear. Pycat! Pycat's gonna fall. He's got no buyback. That might be it, honestly. Without their Shadow Fiend, Rax is gone bottom. They're gonna head tier four. And I can want this game, and they might even find it too. Radiant this could be beautiful. The Swedish squad of NIP going to work. Lip having an all-star game. Era playing as solid as he always does. And NIP Radiance now getting over fallen. the hump. That is the lines. Tier 4 is falling. Lotus back up at 20. There's no glyph here. Was just used. They're even going to go into the roads, or rather into the well. And GG is called. Victory. NIP move on. Alliance is done. They are out of Dota Pit Season 3. Unbelievable series. It all culminates in the last five minutes. This game took too long, but... It is going to be NIP's victory. Man, they really, uh, NIP really showed that they can, they can take a loss and then just go into game two and just like refocus and like rethink the way they were drafting. And oh my God, did it ever work?